I decided to give Radius Manager 4.1.6 free. Yes, you heard me right. It's free. But make sure you're not using it in your production, okay? I have seen like there are so many people who wants to learn that software, who want to learn more how to use the software and if they are working currently for a company, they are using DMS Soft Lab or they want to work as a network administrator in a company where they're going to have DMS Soft Lab. So you guys can use this software, install it and use it for free just for the learning purposes or if you are a teacher you want to teach that software to other students you can use that so it's going to be a just one click download you will download a zip file and extract that just install it's going to be that simple and let me show you how you are gonna install that okay so here i have vmware workstation i would uh, put the download link in the description for VMware workstation and that's also free so you can download this and uh, have your radius manager running all right so once you have downloaded your file uh, it's it's gonna be in the zip file and you, you just need to unextract so here you will come and create uh, open and then you need to find uh, the exact location uh, in my case it's uh, the external hard drive and this okay so you just need to open this file once you did it's gonna show this name radius underscore backup you can just rename it whatever you want i have another radius running let me power that machine off so i can save some cpu and the ram so this one power off and this one what I uh, just recently uh, installed on this machine. I'm gonna just power this machine up and uh, I will give you all the credentials and everything and you just need to click on I copied it. Okay, okay so things uh, need to be verified before starting. I just uh, simply clicked on start, uh, go to uh, the settings and uh, yeah make sure you have enough memory in your computer because it's gonna use the actual memory and uh, the processor and the hard drive you should have at least 100 TB that's pretty normal and uh, another thing that needs to be checked that is the network adapter it should be bridged so that way you can access this uh, EMS soft lab on your computer. Okay, so the username is root and the password is T-A-L-H-A-1234. I'm not gonna write it in my description because you guys gonna ignore my video then. <laughs> and enter and uh, the first command to check how we gonna uh, have the link for this one. It's if config and eth0 make sure you type that whole command otherwise it's going to show you a lot of information and you will be like confused what to type so it will give you exactly what the ip address is and yeah so it's 192.168.12.10 all right so it says it works right and you need to type slash radius manager slash admin hit enter there you go boom so you don't need any license you don't need any configuration just one click install okay so for the admin password is like the default password so these are the default configuration and you wanna know more about like how to set up the system settings you can just go to my channel and i have like a bunch of videos almost 20 25 videos i mentioned everything in my videos related to the real environment work i redesigned the templates i redesigned the card and uh, you can go to yeah just my videos and see i meant i i tried to explain that in in simple simple method like how you can create uh, your own design card using canva or if you are good in graphic designing you can use any other software like photoshop or anyone and uh, if you if you know a little bit of html then it would be easy to like recreate your uh, invoices like uh, let me go to 
uh, find invoices and I'm gonna just say uh, if you have any no so there is no invoice let me go and uh, let's say create create one for this one uh, like add credits so yeah I'm gonna set the unit amount or something like that and click OK and finish okay okay so here you can see it's it's the default one but there's a video you're gonna learn how to change the logo and everything i told that in the video and thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next video bye